Hello Internet, your friendly neighborhood gremlin here, and today we're going to do the interior of Rodeo's house, which is also going to be Beast's library, mostly just because the library seemed like the most fun part to build, and also I like libraries. But before we start that, I just kind of wanted to show you around Rodeo's house as it is now, mostly because I really like it and I feel really stressed out when I delete things that I did that I liked. So here it is immortalized forever in video. I hope you like it. <laughs> but now we can get on to the actual library build, which, you know, is a little bit weird. Though, I mean, I guess I built it, so it was always going to be weird. I did want to do the exterior, mostly just because zero people were interested in the Rapunzel interior. So I thought maybe this wasn't the kind of thing you guys would want to watch. But A, I like having them. And also, the exterior stressed me out too much. So instead, we came inside. And for the most part, we're just going to imagine that lots of these things have faces. I guess really, in the original fairy tale, they're just like mysterious invisible hands. Maybe they're fairies or something. I don't know. The Disney thing was in my head and somehow we got talking teapots and clocks and stuff. At least the owl clock actually has eyes. But our little candelabra and any of that other stuff is just eyeless. And also just that like giant ass organ that just kind of hangs out there. And we can pretend it's the organ from the second Disney movie. I don't know. I just kind of liked it. It looked kind of gothic and cool. So it is hanging out with us. But the room does go through quite a few sort of iterations where I thought I wanted to use the bookshelves, but it just looked kind of dumb with the other bookshelves. And I couldn't find a wallpaper that I liked to go back there. So we just use those shelves so I can put stuff on them, like the little feather duster. But we do remember that we need the rose. So there it is, and it's going to end up kind of walled off a little bit. We can talk about that when we get there, I suppose. Here I'm just building in a little reading corner, because, you know, it's a library. So I figured that would be the kind of thing you would want in a library. It also felt really important to have a fake Mrs. Potts, because Angela Lansbury is my favorite human. And I still kind of regret not going on that trip to New York in high school to see her in a little night music. But I would have been miserable the rest of the trip. It just wouldn't have been the kind of thing I would find fun. So, like, overall a good decision, but also I'm kind of sad about it. Anyway, here we're trying to find a rug for a little reading corner to make it feel kind of like its own space, I suppose. And we end up using the Starry Skies rug because as much as I love that purple one, the purple is just kind of a lot. But, I mean, our players do love Stargate, so I suppose it is appropriate. Anyway, here what we're trying to do is sort of protect the rose, I guess. You aren't going to stay with the jail bars, but I thought, you know, you would want it to be a place where everyone was just going to go and touch it, which is why they have the cloche originally, but that's just not a thing that we have. And our solution is a castle arch, which, you know, I mean, is a solution. And I mean, really what counts is that I really like it. It may be a questionable decision, but that's what we do here. There also just isn't an explanation for the bird. I just really like the bird. But as you may have noticed, I've decided to keep the island sort of entirely free of modern technology. Just like because fairy tales? I mean, I suppose it's not going to be hard because the modern technology stuff is just not going to fit in on the island anywhere. Here I was just sort of bothered by the castle edge right against the wall, but the pillar looked worse, so we're just kind of dealing with it. And then of course, obviously the last step in this build is just to change the lighting because the orange looks nice and warm and kind of candle-y. And the exterior, of course, isn't really that exciting. I just made it match Melba's. So they just kind of look identical because they're kind of part of the same castle garden thing. But that is indeed the entire build. So if you like the build or just had a good time hanging out with me, you could hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the build, how you feel about Angela Lansbury, if you've seen the filmed stage version of her and George Hearn doing Sweeney Todd, which I highly recommend. It's much better than the Johnny Depp movie. Though, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Or, you know, just anything at all. And, of course, if you think you might like to do this again sometime, you could hit that subscribe button. If you do it now, you could be the 60th subscriber. Which, you know, be pretty exciting. But I will see y'all on Friday. Goodbye!